Today we will be taking an in-depth look at a learning and teaching plan in the form of an episode through critically analysing its links to theories of learning, teaching strategies, use of ICT and its responsiveness to diverse learning needs. The lesson is situated in the beginning of Term 1 for a Textiles and Design Year 8 class, a few lessons into the first unit of work of this Stage 4 course. The unit is called Pillow Paradise, which introduces foundational concepts to the students on how to source and research inspirational ideas and concepts to help assist them in the development of a design idea. This lesson introduces the concept of developing effective methods and approaches for students to learn how to effectively research inspirational ideas. The task assists their line of who, what, when, why line of questioning to approach a design task. The key activity of the lesson involves students finding, photographing, and then sharing their resources they have found in the school grounds. This activity makes use of a wide variety of teaching strategies, including ICTs. The images are relevant to the outcome for the lesson for students to identify the meaning, purpose, and context of researching a wide variety of sources so that by the end of the lesson, the students should understand the meaning and usefulness of effective research by correctly and creatively identifying sources within the school environment and practice responsible and capable use of ICT, specifically through Edmodo, a social media platform for students and teachers. There are a number of teaching strategies adopted throughout the lesson which draw on theories of learning and respond to the need of diverse learners in ways in which not only enhance student engagement, but also instigate a deeper learning that would not always be possible. During the opening hook activity, explanation images and discussion questions are displayed on the smart board providing an extra layer of stimulus for students. This particularly is useful for visual learners and those with hearing difficulties. The use of smartphones and Edmodo to capture and share resources enables authentic learning and builds student skills and provides an opportunity for the practice of responsible use of online social media. The lesson follows a social constructivist approach by allowing the students to actively engage in their own learning and find meaning through student-centered activities. The source finding activity is a prime example of this approach, which students are introduced to a concept of textile inspiration sources and extend their understanding by discovering examples of their own alongside their peers. Support is provided through modeling by the teacher showing an example of a textiles inspirational source they have already found within the school. This strategy put forward by Ben Jura aims to provide clarity to, clarity to the students of the task and build their self-efficacy to see that this activity is achievable for them. The teacher also provides scaffolding by listing key questions for the students to answer as they select their own inspirational sources. This approach discussed by Bruna seeks to provide enough support for students to focus on the crux of the task at hand, but doesn't prescribe them too much that it hinders their own discovery of the lesson. A number of different learning styles are addressed, as well as, as discussed by Gardner, the outdoor activity engages the naturalistic learners. The interpersonal learners are engaged through the initial and final class discussions. And finally, the verbal learners have the opportunity to share their thoughts as they justify their photo choice to the class. Being a pre-service teacher at this stage, reflection and evaluation can only be hypothetical. However, measuring the success of a lesson can be planned through student assessment. And there are a number of opportunities for measuring the success of the of a lesson through both formative and summative assessment. The opening hook of the lesson, a discussion of examples of textile inspirational sources, provides an opportunity for formative assessment, allowing the teacher to assess how much of an understanding the students have and how, effective, how to effectively source inspiration. This is also an awesome opportunity for the teacher to display positive reinforcement to the students and build their self-efficacy. The student, the teacher's feedback shows the students that they have an, under, have an existing knowledge about how to approach the task, even if they don't yet use this terminology. As the students are gathering their own sources, the teacher provides supervision and direction, again providing an opportunity for informal formative assessment. Summative assessment of the lesson is enabled by student engagement with the Edmodo resource. As they upload their photo and provide reasoning behind their choice of inspiration, this provides further evidence to the teacher of the successful achievement of the lesson outcomes. Thank you.